for the next two months, you can call me Two Face. <laughs> So that was me back on September 12th when I recorded that video. For those of you that don't know, exactly one year from today, September 11th, 2014, I woke up with the right side of my face paralyzed. Later that day, I went to the hospital and I was diagnosed with something called Bell's Palsy. Now, before I continue, if you haven't seen that video that I posted about my Bell's Palsy on my old channel, take a few minutes and go watch that before you continue watching this video. You can click right here or the link will be in the description. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it's been one year since I was diagnosed with Bell's Palsy. So I'm just here to share my story with you guys. The next clip that you're about to see is just my progress with Bell's Palsy. Check this out. Gracias a Dios, I can say that I'm 99% fine. Why just 99%? Because I feel that I've never been 100%. But listen, the main reason I'm here is for any of you that are watching that are currently going through Bell's Palsy or have a friend or a family member that is going through this, just know to keep your head high. Just a quick summary of what I went through and now that it's been a year, I just wanted to share my story with you guys and, and, and hope to to inspire you guys to to just again not think negative so as soon as this happened to me the first person that i really thought oh my god they're gonna they're gonna suffer they're gonna stress out is my mom that was the first person that i thought you know i i wanted to be strong for so like i said i woke up in the morning my dad was with me took me to the hospital we found out what it was got my medication there's two types of medication that you get i don't remember what their names are but one of them is steroids to to try to reduce the swelling in your head and your face my mom gets home around two in the afternoon so when she got here and she saw my face all i said to her was mom don't worry i'm gonna be fine um, you know, my face does look messed up, but don't worry, we're gonna get through this. Everything's gonna be all right. So that was the first thing that I wanted to, to just clear up. The next thing was work. Having to tell them what was going on, it wasn't hard. It was just the fact of, do I continue going to work like normal? Do I take time off? Lucky enough with my work, I was able to work remotely. So that's what I did. I ended up taking about a month and a half off work in the sense of not going to the office. So if you're going through this and you're working, try your best to not make that a priority because it's really about you trying to get yourself better. The next thing was I went straight to the internet to google to youtube to see if there was any other youtubers or people out there that went through bell's palsy or that had bell's palsy then i found a lot of different stories i got some ideas from a lot of family members from the internet and what i did was a day or two after i recorded the video i tried to find a place that i could go and get therapy on my face massages and whatnot i was able to find this place they helped me out a lot i ended up doing about two sessions per week they would give me um massages on my face acupuncture the like the electric electric shock they did multiple exercises and things i stopped drinking i started going to the gym i started eating healthier so all these things that i was doing helped me out a lot i know from experience that you must be going through some hard times right now but really like you you just need to toughen it up a little bit and and do what you can to get better and don't stay at home in your bedroom because that you're just gonna get depressed and like I said it's just gonna get worse and it's not gonna get better all right so I don't know what else to say I feel like I've been talking for so long just know this try your best to avoid thinking anything negative negative thoughts negative ideas 
negative vibes. Surround yourself by family and friends that love you, that will be by your side in this rough time and just help you out with whatever you need. It's going to be hard to get through this, but just know that it's not the end of the world. It will take some time for you to get better, but do know that you are going to get better. Take me for example, it took me a little over two months for me to be about 85% good, but it took a lot of dedication and preparation for me to recover as quickly as I did. Overall, the past year was, was hectic in the sense of, of my health, and thank God that um, I'm back to normal. I could feel now and I could taste, I could smile my dimples back all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like subscribe to my channel it's free if you don't mind sharing this video i would appreciate it it's good to let people know what bell's palsy is all about it might not be this like crazy disease but people are getting it out there and they should be aware of, of how to cope with it and how to get better and you know they need to know just that they're gonna be fine so help me out share it with your friends on facebook on twitter this was your boy rc martinez and mcquillan be good just stay strong guys you're gonna be fine see you guys next week and yeah